In this session, we will discuss about statistical measures. It is numerical descriptive measures, which is used to calculate, interpret, and compare our data. There are two types of descriptive measurements. The first one is central location. Here, we calculate and find the central value of our data. The second one is dispersion. It measures the spread and the distribution of our data. So let us continue. I would like to start with an illustration. For instance, I got 80 for my math score. I would like to know how I perform among my classmates. My professor gave me this additional information. Now I know from the average score of the class, my score is above the average class score, which is 76.53. I also know that a friend of mine and several of them got 100 as their score, as shown by the mode, the most frequent score obtained. There are two math class in my school. Let's see the result of the other class. So it seems they have a slight lower average score. So let's see the variation of result in my class and the other class. We can see here that the maximum score obtained in my school class is 100 and the minimum is 17, resulting a range of 83. Compared with the other class, where the maximum is 98 and the minimum is 41, it does not uh, differ too much with uh, resulting a range of 57. Another indication of the spread of the data is shown by the standard deviation. A low standard deviation means the variation of data is small, spreading near the average value. Here, we see from the standard deviation, my class has a larger standard deviation compared with the other class. And variance is simply the square of the standard deviation. So since my class has a larger standard deviation, it also resulting in a higher variance. Central tendency and dispersion are the two statistical measures to summarize our data. For central tendency, we have the mean, median, and mode. For quantitative data, we usually calculate and present the mean more frequent rather than using median and mode. But mean can also be affected by outliers. That is why we calculate the med median as a measure of central location. The median is the middle value of the data set. It divides the data in half. So we will have an equal number of observation that lies above and below the median. If the values of the mean and the median differ significantly, then it is likely that the data set contains outliers. What about the mode? The mode of a data set is the value that occurs most frequently. A data set can have more than one mode or even no mode. The mode is the only meaningful measure of central location that can be used to summarize qualitative data. To measure how our data vary around the center, we use measures of data dispersion. This most simple measure is range. It shows the difference between the maximum and the minimum. So range is just maximum minus minimum. A second measure is the mean absolute deviation, or short, in short is MAD. Because 
A good measure of dispersion should consider differences of all observation from the mean. If we simply average all differences from the mean, the positive and the negative will cancel out, and the resulting average will be equal to zero. As an alternative, MAD is the average deviation, however, it takes an absolute value. So the fair formula is the sum of the average deviation, xi minus x bar divided by the number of our observation. The variance and the standard deviation are the two most widely used measure of dispersion. Instead of calculating the average absolute differences from the mean, as in MAD, we calculate the average of the squared differences from the mean. The squaring of the differences from the mean emphasizes larger differences more than smaller ones, where MAD weighs large and small differences equally. The variance is defined as the average of the squared differences between the observation and the mean. And standard deviation here is just the square root of variance. We have come to the end of session 2 about central tendency and dispersion. You may now continue to the next activity with your group.